These are the top 10 things we need to know about Prince Philip, the consort of British monarch. Ancestry Both Philip and Queen Elizabeth II are great-great-grandchildren of Queen Victoria. Elizabeth by descent from Victoria's eldest son, King Edward VII, and Philip by descent from Victoria's second daughter, Princess Alice. Both are also descended from King Christian IX of Denmark. Philip was also related to the House of Romanov through both of his parents. He was a direct descendant of Emperor Nicholas I of Russia via his paternal grandmother Grand Duchess Olga Konstantinovna of Russia. 181. His maternal grandmother, Princess Victoria of Hesse and by Rhine, was a sister of Alexandra Fyodorovna, Alex of Hesse, wife of Emperor Nicholas II. In 1993, scientists were able to confirm the identity of the remains of several members of the Romanov family. More than 70 years after their deaths in 1918, by comparing their mitochondrial DNA to living matrilineal relatives, including Philip, Philip, Alexandra, and her children are all descended from Princess Alice of the United Kingdom, the daughter of Queen Victoria, through a purely female line. Prince Philip Romanized Philippos of Greece and Denmark was born in Mornripos on the Greek island of Corfu on 10 June 1921. The only son and fifth and final child of Prince Andrew of Greece and Denmark and Princess Alice of Battenberg, a member of the House of Glucksburg, the ruling House of Denmark. He was a prince of both Greece and Denmark by virtue of his patrilineal descent from George I of Greece and Christian IX of Denmark. And he was from birth in the line of succession to both thrones. Philip's four elder sisters were Margarita, Theodora, Cecily, and Sophie. He was baptized in the Greek Orthodox Rite at St. George Church in the Old Fortress in Corfu. Shortly after Philip's birth, his maternal grandfather Prince Louis of Battenberg, then known as Louis Mountbatten, Marquis of Milford Haven, died in London. Louis was a naturalized British subject who, after a career in the Royal Navy, had renounced his German titles and adopted the surname Mountbatten, an anglicized version of Battenberg, during the First World War. Owing to anti-German sentiment in Britain, after visiting London for his grandfather's memorial service, Philip and his mother returned to Greece, where Prince Andrew had remained to command a Greek army division embroiled in the Greco-Turkish War. The war went badly for Greece, and the Turks made large gains. Philip's uncle and high commander of the Greek expeditionary force, King Constantine I, was blamed for the defeat and was forced to abdicate on the 27th of September 1922. The new military government arrested Prince Andrew, along with others. The commanding officer of the army, General Georgios Hatsiantis, and five senior politicians, were arrested, tried, and executed in the trial of the six. Prince Andrew's life was also believed to be in danger and Princess Alice was under surveillance. Finally in December, a revolutionary court banished Prince Andrew from Greece for life. The British mm. naval vessel HMS Calypso evacuated Prince Andrew's family, with Philip carried to safety in a cot made from a fruit box. Philip's family went to France where they settled in the Paris suburb of St. Cloud in a house lent to them by his wealthy aunt. Princess George of Greece and Denmark. Because Philip left Greece as a baby, he did not speak Greek. In 1992, he said that he could understand a certain amount. 9. Philip stated that he thought of himself as Danish, and his family spoke English, French, and German. Philip, who in his youth was known for his charm,
Philip was educated at Gordonston School in Scotland. Philip was first educated at the Elms, an American school in Paris run by Donald Mac Jeanette, who described Philip as a know-it-all smarty person, but always remarkably polite. In 1928, he was sent to the United Kingdom to attend Cheam School, living with his maternal grandmother, Victoria Mountbatten, Dowager Marchioness of Milford Haven, at Kensington Palace and his uncle, George Mountbatten, second Marquess of Milford Haven, at Linden Manor in Bray, Berkshire. In the next three years, his four sisters married German princes and moved to Germany. His mother was diagnosed with schizophrenia and placed in an asylum, and his father took up residence in Monte Carlo. Philip had little contact with his mother for the remainder of his childhood. In 1933, he was sent to Schule Schloss Salem in Germany, which had the advantage of saving school fees because it was owned by the family of his brother-in-law, Berthold, Margrave of Baden. With the rise of Nazism in Germany, Salem's Jewish founder, Kurt Hahn, fled persecution and founded Gordonston School in Scotland, to which Philip moved after two terms at Salem. In 1937, his sister Cecily, her husband Georg Donatus, hereditary Grand Duke of Hesse, her two young sons, Ludwig and Alexander, her newborn infant, and her mother-in-law, Princess Eleanor of Soames Hohenzollernsitz, were killed in an air crash at Ostend. Philip, then 16 years old, attended the funeral in Darmstadt. The following year, his uncle and guardian Lord Milford Haven died of bone marrow cancer. After leaving Gordonston in early 1939, Philip completed a term as a cadet at the Royal Naval College. Dartmouth, then repatriated to Greece, living with his mother in Athens for a month in mid-1939. At the behest of the Greek king, George II, his first cousin, he returned to Britain in September to resume training for the Royal Navy. He graduated from Dartmouth the next year as the best cadet in his course. During the Second World War, he continued to serve in the British forces, while two of his brothers-in-law, Prince Christoph of Hesse and Berthold, Margrave of Baden, fought on the opposing German side. Philip was appointed as a midshipman in January 1940. He spent four months on the battleship HMS Ramleys, protecting convoys of the Australian Expeditionary Force in the Indian Ocean, followed by shorter postings on HMS Kent, on HMS Shropshire, and in Ceylon. After the invasion of Greece by Italy in October 1940, he was transferred from the Indian Ocean to the battleship HMS Valiant in the Mediterranean Fleet. On 1 February 1941, Philip was commissioned as a sub-lieutenant after a series of courses at Portsmouth, in which he gained the top grade in four out of five sections of the qualifying examination. Among other engagements, he was involved in the Battle of Crete. And was mentioned in dispatches for his service during the Battle of Cape Matapan, in which he controlled the battleship searchlights. He was also awarded the Greek War Cross. 21 in June 1942. He was appointed to the V&W class destroyer and flotilla leader HMS Wallace, which was involved in convoy escort tasks on the east coast of Britain, as well as the Allied invasion of Sicily. Promotion to lieutenant followed on 16 July 1942 in October of the same year. He became first lieutenant of HMS Wallace, at 21 years old one of the youngest first lieutenants in the Royal Navy during the invasion of Sicily. In July 1943, as second in command of Wallace, he saved his ship from a night bomber attack. He devised a plan to launch a raft with smoke floats that successfully distracted the bombers. 
allowing the ship to slip away unnoticed. In 1944, he moved on to the new destroyer, HMS Welp, where he saw service with the British Pacific Fleet in the 27th Destroyer Flotilla. He was present in Tokyo Bay when the instrument of Japanese surrender was signed. Philip returned to the United Kingdom on the Welp in January 1946 and was posted as an instructor at HMS Royal Arthur, the Petty Officers School in Corsham, Wiltshire. In 1939, King George VI and Queen Elizabeth toured the Royal Naval College, Dartmouth. During the visit, the Queen and Louis Mountbatten asked his nephew Philip to escort the King's two daughters, Elizabeth and Margaret, who were Philip's third cousins through Queen Victoria, and second cousins once removed through King Christian IX of Denmark. Elizabeth fell in love with Philip and they began to exchange letters when she was 13. Eventually, in the summer of 1946, Philip asked the king for his daughter's hand in marriage. The king granted his request, provided that any formal engagement be delayed until Elizabeth's 21st birthday the following April. By March 1947, Philip had abandoned his Greek and Danish royal titles had adopted the surname Mountbatten from his mother's family and had become a naturalized British subject. The engagement was announced to the public on the 10th of July 1947. Though Philip appeared always to have regarded himself as an Anglican and he had attended Anglican services with his classmates and relations in England and throughout his Royal Navy days. He had been baptized in the Greek Orthodox Church the Archbishop of Canterbury, Geoffrey Fisher, wanted to regularize Philip's position by officially receiving him into the Church of England, which he did in October 1947. The day before the wedding, King George VI bestowed the style of Royal Highness on Philip and, on the morning of the wedding, the 20th of November 1947, he was made the Duke of Edinburgh, Earl of Merioneth, and Baron Greenwich of Greenwich in the County of London. 39. Consequently, being already a Knight of the Garter, between 19 and 20 November 1947 he bore the unusual style His Royal Highness Sir Philip Mountbatten, and is so described in the letters patent of 20 November 1947. Philip and Elizabeth were married in a ceremony at Westminster Abbey. Recorded and broadcast by BBC Radio to 200 million people around the world. In post-war Britain, it was not acceptable for any of the Duke of Edinburgh's German relations to be invited to the wedding, including Philip's three surviving sisters, all of whom had married German princes. After their marriage, the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh took up residence at Clarence House, their first two children were born before Elizabeth succeeded her father as monarch in 1952, Prince Charles in 1948 and Princess Anne in 1950. Their marriage was to become the longest of any British monarch. Philip was introduced to the House of Lords on 21 July 1948, immediately before his uncle Louis Mountbatten, who had been made Earl Mountbatten of Burma. Philip like his sons Charles and Andrew and other royals, with the exception of the first Earl of Snowdon, ceased to be members of the House of Lords following the House of Lords Act 1999. He never spoke in the House. Consort of the Queen. The accession of Elizabeth to the throne brought up the question of the name of the royal house. As Elizabeth would typically have taken Philip's last name upon marriage, the Duke's uncle, Earl Mountbatten of Burma, advocated the name House of Mountbatten. Philip suggested House of Edinburgh. After his ducal title, when Queen Mary, Elizabeth's grandmother, heard of this, she informed the British Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, 
who himself later advised the Queen to issue a royal proclamation declaring that the royal house was to remain known as the House of Windsor. Prince Philip privately complained, I am nothing but a bloody amoeba. I am the only man in the country not allowed to give his name to his own children. On 8 February 1960, Several years after the death of Queen Mary and the resignation of Churchill as Prime Minister, the Queen issued an order in council declaring that Mountbatten Windsor would be the surname of her and her husband's male line descendants who are not styled as Royal Highness or titled as Prince or Princess. 55 While it seems the Queen had absolutely set her heart on such a change and had it in mind for some time. It occurred only 11 days before the birth of Prince Andrew, the 19th of February. And only after three months of protracted correspondence between constitutional expert Edward Ewey, who averred that, without such a change, the royal child would be born with the badge of bastardy, and Prime Minister Harold Macmillan who had attempted to rebut Ewey's arguments after her accession to the throne. The Queen also announced that the Duke was to have place, preeminence and precedence next to her on all occasions and in all meetings, except where otherwise provided by Act of Parliament. This meant the Duke took precedence over his son, the Prince of Wales, except, officially, in the British Parliament. In fact, however, he attended Parliament only when escorting the Queen for the annual state opening of Parliament, where he walked and sat beside her. Contrary to rumours over the years, the Queen and Duke were said by insiders to have had a strong relationship throughout their marriage. Despite the challenges of Elizabeth's reign, the Queen referred to Prince Philip in a speech on the occasion of her Diamond Jubilee in 2012 as her constant strength and guide. Prince Philip received a parliamentary annuity to £359.000 since 1990 that served to meet official expenses in carrying out public duties. The annuity was unaffected by the reform of royal finances under the Sovereign Grant Act 2011. Any part of the allowance that was not used to meet official expenditure was liable for tax. In practice, the entire allowance was used to fund his official duties. Personality Philip played polo until 1971, when he started to compete in carriage driving, a sport which he helped to expand. The early rule book was drafted under his supervision. He was also a keen yachtsman and struck up a friendship in 1949 with Uffer Fox. In Cows, Philip and the Queen. Personality. Philip played polo until 1971, when he started to compete in carriage driving, a sport which he helped to expand. The early rule book was drafted under his supervision. He was also a keen yachtsman and struck up a friendship in 1949 with Uffer Fox. In Cows, Philip and the Queen regularly attended Cows Week in HMY Britannia. Philip's first airborne flying lesson took place in 1952 and by his 70th birthday he had accrued five 150 pilot hours. He was presented with Royal Air Force wings in 1953. In April 2014, it was reported that an old British Puffet newsreel film had been discovered of Philip's 1962 two-month flying tour of South America. Filmed sitting alongside Philip at the aircraft's controls was his co-pilot Captain Peter Middleton, the grandfather of the Duke's granddaughter-in-law, Catherine, Duchess of Cambridge. Philip held a number of titles throughout his life, originally holding the title and style of a Prince of Greece and Denmark. Philip abandoned these royal titles prior to his marriage and was thereafter created a British Duke. Among other noble titles, the Queen formally issued letters patent in 1957 making Philip a British Prince. When addressing the Duke of Edinburgh, 
as with any male member of the royal family except the monarch. The rules of etiquette were to address him the first time as your royal highness, and thereafter as a sir. The Duke of Edinburgh was appointed by King George VI to the Order of the Garter on the 19th of November 1947, the eve of his wedding. Since then, Philip has received 17 different appointments and decorations in the Commonwealth, and 48 from foreign states. The inhabitants of some villages on the island of Tana, Vanuatu worship Prince Philip as a god. The islanders possess portraits of the Duke and hold feasts on his birthday. The Duke of Edinburgh, Colonel in Chief of the Royal Canadian Regiment, presenting the 3rd Battalion with their regimental colours in April 2013. Upon his wife's succession to the throne in 1952, the Duke was appointed Admiral of the Sea Cadet Corps, Colonel in Chief of the British Army Cadet Force, and Air Commodore in Chief of the Air Training Corps. The following year, he was appointed to the equivalent positions in Canada and made Admiral of the Fleet. Captain General Royal Marines, Field Marshal, and Marshal of the Royal Air Force in the United Kingdom. Subsequent military appointments were made in New Zealand and Australia. In 1975, he was appointed Colonel of the Grenadier Guards. A position he handed over to his son Andrew in 2017. On the 16th of December 2015, his role as Honorary Air Commodore in Chief was handed over to the Duchess of Cambridge. To celebrate his 90th birthday, the Queen appointed him Lord High Admiral, 175 as well as to the highest ranks available in all three branches of the Canadian Armed Forces. On their 70th wedding anniversary, the 20th of November 2017, the Queen appointed him Knight Grand Cross GCVO of the Royal Victorian Order making him the first British national since his uncle Earl Mountbatten of Burma to be entitled to wear the breast stars of four orders of chivalry in the United Kingdom. Duties As consort to the Queen Philip supported his wife in her new duties as sovereign, accompanying her to ceremonies such as the state opening of parliament in various countries, state dinners, and tours abroad. As chairman of the Coronation Commission, he was the first member of the royal family to fly in a helicopter, visiting the troops that were to take part in the ceremony. Philip was not crowned in the service, but knelt before Elizabeth, with her hands enclosing his and swore to be her liege man of life and limb. In the early 1950s, his sister-in-law, Princess Margaret, considered marrying a divorced older man, Peter Townsend. The press accused Philip of being hostile to the match, to which he replied, I haven't done anything. Philip had not interfered, preferring to stay out of other people's love lives. Eventually, Margaret and Townsend parted for six months. Over 1953-1954, Philip and Elizabeth toured the Commonwealth, as with previous tours the children were left in Britain. In 1956, the Duke, with Kurt Hahn, founded the Duke of Edinburgh's award in order to give young people a sense of responsibility to themselves and their communities. In the same year, he also established the Commonwealth Study Conferences. From 1956 to 1957, Philip travelled around the world aboard the newly commissioned HMY Britannia, during which he opened the 1956 Summer Olympics in Melbourne and visited the Antarctic, becoming the first royal to cross the Antarctic Circle. The Queen and the children remained in the UK. On the return leg of the journey, Philip's private secretary, Mike Parker, was sued for divorce by his wife. As with Townsend, the press still portrayed divorce as a scandal. 
and eventually Parker resigned. He later said that the Duke was very supportive and the Queen was wonderful throughout. She regarded divorce as a sadness, not a hanging offence. In a public show of support, the Queen created Parker a commander of the Royal Victorian Order. Further press reports claimed that the Queen and the Duke were drifting apart, which enraged the Duke and dismayed the Queen, who issued a strongly worded denial. On the 22nd of February 1957, she granted her husband the style and title of a Prince of the United Kingdom by letters patent, and it was gazetted that he was to be known as His Royal Highness the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Philip was appointed to the Queen's Privy Council for Canada on the 14th of October 1957, taking his oath of allegiance before the Queen in person at her Canadian residence, Rideau Hall. Remarks he made two years later to the Canadian Medical Association on the subject of youth and sport were taken as a suggestion that Canadian children were out of shape. This was at first considered tactless, but Philip was later admired for his encouragement of physical fitness. In Canada in 1969, Philip spoke about his views on republicanism. It is a complete misconception to imagine that the monarchy exists in the interest of the monarch. It doesn't. It exists in the interest of the people. If at any time any nation decides that the system is unacceptable, then it is up to them to change it. In April 2009, Philip became the longest-serving British royal consort. He became the oldest ever male British royal in February 2013, and the third longest-lived member of the British royal family following Princess Alice, Duchess of Gloucester, and Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother in April 2019. Personally, he was not enthused about living an extremely long life, remarking in a 2000 interview when he was 80 that he could not imagine anything worse and had no desire whatsoever to become a centenarian, saying bits of me are falling off already. From 20 to the 24th of December 2019, Philip stayed at King Edward VII's hospital and received treatment for a pre-existing condition in a visit described by Buckingham Palace as a precautionary measure. He had not been seen in public since attending Lady Gabriella Kingston's wedding in May 2019. A photo of Philip with the Queen as they isolated at Windsor Castle during the COVID-19 pandemic was released ahead of his 99th birthday in June 2020. In July 2020, he stepped down as Colonel-in-Chief of the Rifles, a position he had held since 2007. He was succeeded by the Duchess of Cornwall. On the 9th of January 2021, Philip and the Queen were vaccinated against COVID-19 by a household doctor at Windsor Castle. On the 16th of February 2021, Philip was admitted to King Edward VII's hospital as a precautionary measure after feeling unwell. He was visited by Prince Charles on the 20th of February, 133 on the 23rd of February. It was confirmed by Buckingham Palace that Philip was responding to treatment for an infection. On the 1st of March 2021, Philip was transferred by ambulance to St. Bartholomew's Hospital to continue treatment for an infection, and additionally to undergo testing and observation relating to a pre-existing heart condition. He underwent a successful procedure for his heart condition on the 3rd of March and was transferred back to King Edward VII's hospital on the 5th of March. He was discharged on the 16th of March. Death. Main article. Death and funeral of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Philip died on the 9th of April 2021, age 99, two months before his centennial. He was the longest serving royal consort in British history. The cause of death has not yet been disclosed but the palace has said that he died peacefully.